What should you be doing to revise for the GCSEs? Is taking notes the best idea? Well, this video is about exactly that. Hi, my name is Nimin Sami and I'm a GCSE student currently in year 11 and this video is going to be full of facts in what the best idea of revision actually is and if taking notes is really worth it for the GCSEs. This video will be split into three parts. The pros of taking notes, the cons of taking notes and of course, the better way to revise. Okay, so why are notes a good idea? Well, firstly, we have to first find the difference between taking notes and actually reviewing notes. I think that taking notes is a really good idea because especially when you're in class, when you are taking notes about the topic, you are writing the information in a way that makes sense to you. That's why we in class are told to refrain from copying and pasting because they are someone else's words and they won't be as effective for us. So I think taking notes is a really good idea, but I think that rereading those notes isn't. So let's just quickly go back to our desk. Okay, so that was the pros of taking. Okay. Okay, so that was the pros of taking notes, and you can see that it wasn't that much. So now let's get into the cons of taking notes. Firstly, imagine you had an exam in around a week or so and you had to revise for it. If you decided to just look at your topic's worth of notes, you will run into two problems. Firstly, if you condense the information way too much, you might have lost some important information. And secondly, if you are reading over your notes, it's a very passive source of revision and therefore you are less likely to retain everything that you look over. Okay, so to solve the first problem that I just mentioned, you can check a textbook and revise off that. But then the whole reason of making the notes is now futile because you don't even need to look over your notes anymore. You're just going straight to a textbook. Obviously, rereading is still rereading, no matter if you're rereading your notes or you're rereading a textbook. Another really popular revision technique is to highlight as you go because it seems like you are more actively engaged when you're studying, but it really is just as useless as just going over your notes in the first place. So I do not recommend making notes, especially for the GCSEs. By the way, this isn't me saying this, this is actually scientifically proven that rereading and highlighting is a very ineffective form of revision. You're probably wondering then, what is the best way to revise? Well, let's just get straight into that. To revise the best way for your exams, one thing you should not do is just get a textbook and paraphrase everything into a document that you'll never read again. This is what I used to originally do and now I've realised that it's quite ineffective and very inefficient. Now what I like doing is using a process called Active Recall and this is basically where you test yourself as you go. So doing practice papers or just practice questions in general can really help you test yourself and build up that memory and you're more likely to retain all the information this way than just rereading your notes for example. The reason it's called Active Recall is because you are actively trying to recall the information from your brain and this is exactly how you would be doing it in the exam so you're really preparing yourself for the exams themselves rather than just rereading because you're not going to be rereading in an exam, it doesn't really help as much. How can we apply this to our revision then? Well, if you have a textbook, instead of just reading over it, make sure you write flashcards as you go or you try and ask yourself questions about what's going on. This way it's much more active than just passively sitting there reading. Also, another really good revision technique is known as blurting. This is also a form of active recall because what you do is you look at your notes and then you close them and you just write as much as you can from memory and then open them back up and see what you've missed. This is blurting and it's a really good effective revision method. Another technique that pairs well with active recall is known as space repetition. Space repetition is basically where you expand your revision over a longer period of time. This is a really effective form of revision and it is scientifically proven that this way you're more likely to retain all the information that you're learning. So I really recommend that you do this because sure you might know all the information now but do you think you can remember it in like five or six months time in the actual GCSEs themselves? That's the important question. There are a number of ways that you can do this. So you can use online flashcard apps such as Anki or Remnote. This is a really good idea because this way you don't have to spend loads of money actually making so many flashcards which can be a waste of time and money and also doing it online means that you can carry it wherever you go. So Remnote and Anki are both really good, you can test both of them out. I personally use Remnote because of its interface and everything, but it's your choice at the end of the day. This video isn't actually sponsored by Remnote, but if you do want to actually sign up for Remnote, make sure you click the link in the description below, that way you have an extra one month of plus. At the end of the day, it's all about what revision method works best for you. 
just because active recall and space repetition is scientifically sign is scientifically proven to be a really good revision method it doesn't mean that it's going to work for everyone so make sure that you choose something that you actually think you do well in because to be honest as long as you get those good grades it doesn't matter how you revise this is just a nice and efficient way of revising if you don't have that much time Anki and Remnote are both perfectly free but Remnote also has a pro plan and Anki has a paid app version so it's your choice test them both out and see which one you like more Okay, so that's the end of the video, so if you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe, and of course, make sure to let me know in the comments how many CGP books you've bought, because it would just be nice to know. I personally have bought two, one of them is here, it's a maths one. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to buy more, I do not like the actual revision guides, I'm more of a workbook type person, because I feel like the more practice questions, the better. But yeah, let me know in the comments how many you guys have, because yeah, I don't have many, so... Yeah, okay, um, for now though, have a memorable day and I'll see you again next time.